Do you need some help with your alert box on Streamlabs? Let me show you how it works. What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to the game department. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to add your alert box to Streamlabs OBS. We're gonna talk about how to add different GIFs, how to add different sound alerts, how to change the volumes, how to change the text. It's gonna be a basics from start to finish on the alert box. So if that's what you need, go make a cup of coffee, come sit down and Let's, let's get right into it. So jumping straight into Streamlabs, we're gonna be using our live scene as our demonstration because when we're playing games and talking to people, we're gonna to wanna to have our alert box come up and show those alerts live on the stream. So how to do that? If you go to the sources panel on the bottom middle here, you click this plus icon and you're gonna click alert box under widgets. Now it says essential because it is. It is it's essential, get, get it up there. You want to click add source. Now I've already got one here, but what you're going to do is click add new source. They're going to call this alert box one, just so we can differentiate that one and the old one that I had. You're going to click add source. Now what you're going to see is you're going to get this panel. We're going to make it a little bit bigger, just so it's a little bit easier to see. So this panel is essentially the same thing that you can use on the Streamlabs website, but it depends on what you prefer. If it's easier for you to just do it in this panel, then just do it in this panel. But if you want, you can go to the Streamlabs dashboard when you log in on streamlabs.com and you can have this same thing here that you can do it on the website and it all syncs up together. But we're just gonna use this panel for all intents and purposes. So looking at this panel straight off the bat, you can see on the left-hand side here, it says global settings and then different names of different alerts. So you have bits, donations, merch, subscriptions, follows, hosts, raids, you get the idea. So if you click on the word bits, it's gonna give you the bit alert options. Now, when you look at these here, you've got different animations for different amounts of bits. And on the right hand side here, it says sources and settings. You've got your title message, different media options, animations, messages, alert settings. We're gonna dive into those in just a second. But this is essentially what you're gonna see when you expand upon a different alert. Most of them will be the same in the sense of different options that you get. So donations, the same source and settings, merch, slightly different, but subscriptions, you, you get the idea. They're all relative to the individual alert that you're wanting to set up, but the layout's the same. So we're gonna go back to bits. Now, when you click title message, you can see here your message template says brackets name, cheered x amount if you want to change what this says but don't want to mess up what streamlabs are going to input with user information so whoever's username cheered and how many bits what you want to do is the parts that aren't in brackets so this one just here you're going to highlight cheered and you're going to say through x amount and then we'll just say your way so you can see on this little top right hand side here whenever you click on and off or add something or change something you can see here that it syncs and refreshes and make sure it saves your last update. So it can get a little glitchy. At times it can get a little frustrating because you can type something, it'll refresh and then delete it. And then it, it, it's not perfect, okay? But if you do get stuck, all I can suggest is click something else, click back into it, and then try again. I know it's frustrating, but eh, nothing's perfect. So now we've changed what the message is gonna say. So it's gonna say username through something bits, your way. But very straightforward. If you wanna test what it looks like, you click test widgets, you wanna click bits, and it'll come up on the alert. So the game department's through 500 bits your way. And you can make this say uh, whatever you want. As long as you understand that X amount can't be changed and name can't be changed, you fill in everything in between and you can have a lot of fun with it. And it can be completely unique to you and your community. So underneath the title message, you've got media. If you click media, you can see here that with this is what comes with this alert box. So with this specific theme, that we get for being a Streamlabs Prime member, it actually has its own branded alert box as part of that theme. So it has one that matches the rest of the layout. If you wanted to change that, you click change media, you can upload your own GIF. You can, uh, you can see these are the ones that I used to use. You can get a PNG GIF or a GIF, it doesn't necessarily matter. You drag and drop it to here or upload that specific image. And then all you need to do is save it as the media. And that, that's it, that's literally it. So every time that one alert plays, it'll play that specific media that you selected. And, and, that's, and that's as simple as it gets. You can change the sound exactly the same way. You click sound and media, drag and drop. You add whatever sound effect you want. You can download them literally anywhere online. If you search MP3 sound effect or sound effect free or something, you'll find something. There's a bunch of different options online. That's the best advice that I can give in the way of sound effects. It, it's it's so simple and straightforward. 
You can change the sound effect volume underneath here with the volume knob. And, and, and that's it. You can change the media for every single one. So essentially you can make it the higher the amount, the more fancy the alert. It depends on how you want to run it. I have a stock standard one for pretty much everything. It's just the way that I like it to look. But again, it's completely dependent on how you want to do it. Now, if we go underneath media and we click animation, what you can do is you can change the way that it comes into the frame and comes out of the frame in the way of fades, swipes, all sorts of things. So if you click show animation and say, we want it to bounce in instead of fade in. Now it's saved by that little rotating circle in the top. We click test widgets, we click bits. And now you can see that it'll come in, but it'll bounce in and fade out. So see how it bounced in and that's gonna fade out slowly. So it's a nice slow fade out. Now, if we wanted that to fade in, which is what we had originally had it, circle at the top is gonna refresh and save, click bits and we'll see it again. And this is just trial and error. So now it should have a nice slow fade in and a fade out. There you go, fade in, fade out. Very super simple, very, very easy to understand. Now, I've got the alert duration at 10. If you want it to go faster, you can drag that less. So say let's say two, little circles refreshed, we click bits, now everything's synced up and saved. So now it's only two seconds, it should be quick, and it's done. So it's nice and fast, nice and, and quick. Depends on how long, you can have it up to 183 seconds, you can have it all the way up to 300 seconds. Why you would want that, I have no idea. You can have it as two seconds is the slowest, 300 is the most. I like to have one at 10 seconds because I think it fits the way that the animation sits. So it, it times up really well. So little circles refreshed, we click bits. So by the time it'll fade in, the whole animation will play and then the fade out will start when the animation's finished. I think this was what suits my one best, but it's completely trial and error. You might have a faster animation, you might have a faster GIF, you might have a completely different layout that you're going for. It's up to you. Make it your own. Don't copy me. Just make it your own because that's the, the most fun part about it. So underneath your alert duration, you have a text animation. Now this animates the text that comes with it itself. I don't have one on because mine goes really well with the animation, as I said earlier. But let's say if you wanted to do the bounce animation with a one second delay, it's saved. You click bits and let's just test it again because why not? This is the best part about it. Just continually testing. So you see how the text itself starts to bounce and wiggle. If that's what you like, sick. If you don't, turn it off or change it. <laughs> it's totally up to you. I'm gonna turn mine off because I think it looks better without that. Wait for it to save and then test it again and just see what your preferences are because I prefer it plain, you might not. So under animation, you have what's called a donor message. So when someone donates some bits, you have an option to show some text that they can add and it will show on the stream with the alert. So if you want that on, you highlight show message, it'll save, ready to go. Your minimum amount, so if you want, let's say the minimum amount to be 100 bits, sometimes that can help stop people spamming things. It doesn't help all the time, but if your minimum amount is zero or one, then one bit, people are going to continually do them. It doesn't happen all the time, but I'm sure you can understand it may get very annoying very quickly. So minimum amount will be 100. You can change the font of the actual text that's going to come up. Font size, font weight is essentially just the thickness. You can change the color of the text of what comes up. You can allow Twitch emojis. So all of your emojis that Twitch allows you to use on your stream will also be available in the alert. And then you have the option to enable TTS. Now what that means is somebody can donate some bits, they'll send a message and an automated voice will read out that TTS message for everyone on the stream to hear. Obviously there's gonna be issues sometimes depending on the people that are gonna be using it. I would use this very cautiously depending on the kind of stream you have. If you're a family friendly stream, you, you want to be careful that some things aren't being said or aren't getting spammed for you continuously. I can't say that this works 100% of the time because in my experience, sometimes it would work, sometimes it doesn't work properly. And I'd hate for somebody to spend the bits for something that may not happen. That doesn't sit very right with me, so I just turned it off and I just don't want it there. I'd rather not have it than, than have somebody miss out when they've spent some bits. That's just not the way that I wanna run it. So last but not least, underneath your donor message, you have alert settings. If you click this one, this is essentially your global settings for this one alert. So you have a minimum amount to trigger the alert. If it's 10 bits, then people can donate up to nine bits and not have an alert show on the stream and every alert will only show if it's 10 bits or more. I have mine set to zero because I want them to show up regardless. Then you also have your variation. So what that means is you can choose randomly, which is what I have, which will show all of these randomly at a completely random order depending on who donates and what it is. 
You can also go bits used at least amount or exact amount. I keep mine as randomly. I think it just works better for my stream. So one other thing I do want to touch on is up the very, very top here where it says layout, you can actually change the way that your message and your image shows together during the alert. So at the moment, I've got the image underneath the text, which you can see by this little box here. If I clicked the image above the text, what would happen is when the alert gets played, the image gets up the top, text goes down the bottom. So if you're doing your bit alert with a different GIF or something along those lines, you can have the GIF up the top, text down the bottom. So I'll show you this one now. So mine's not gonna look the same because it's a banner, but the banner will play at the top, text will be down the bottom. Exactly the same if you want to do the image on the left, message on the right. Now that I've changed it, do another test alert. It'll come up to the banners on the left, text is on the right hand side. It completely depends on how you want to run it. Obviously, it makes no sense for me to have the banner next to the text because that's not the point. So I do the banner underneath and the text on top. And then all you need to do is change your font size so it fits the banner depending on what kind of banner you're using if you're using one. Now, if we minimize the bit settings and we go to donation settings, now that you know how all of these work, it essentially works in exactly the same way. The title message, name, donated, amount. It's exactly the same as the bits. You change the things that aren't in the brackets to change the alert message. You know your font size, your font weight, you can change the primary and secondary colors, and exactly the same with the media. You change the media in exactly the same way that you do for the bits, it's relative to the entire alert box, which makes it nice and simple to wrap your head around. So once you've got all those done, you can go through every single alert from your donations to merch, subscriptions, follows, all the fun stuff, and just make your alert box your own. Make it completely unique to you, completely unique to your community, and, and just have some fun with it. That's the best advice I can give. Try not to take it too seriously and have a little bit of fun with it. An alert box that's customized to yourself and it's relevant to your stream can change the whole feel of your stream because it can separate you from everybody else on the platform. And that's that's the best thing about it. If you wanna come and see our stream and see what we do with our alert box, we stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 4.30 p.m. Australian Standard Time. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, come check it out. You may have some fun. You might even enjoy yourself. If you like this video or you found it helpful in any way, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe because new videos get posted every week and you don't want to miss them. So subscribe. If Discord's more your thing and you want to join our Discord community, we have a great bunch of people talk about games and memes and streaming stuff and make fun of me regularly, consistently, um, all the time. So if you want, if you want in on that, you should absolutely join the Discord. A link to that will be in the description. If you want to join us on any other social media, search the game department, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. It's exactly the same as YouTube and you can pretty much find us anywhere. So do that. Other than that, I hope you have a good morning. I hope you have a good night. 